Greetings, hello, welcome back to another video of me, Zenzo. I hope you're well today. Don't know why I'm doing that twice. Welcome back to another uh, volume, episode of Where Do You Get That? And today we are looking at Armageddon. Yes, this massive, huge building-like sword, which looks even bigger on my uh, undead DK, doesn't it? So yeah, there we go. Say hello, Necrotis. He's a boy, isn't he? He's a boy. Yeah, so as you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful sword. It's really, really cool. Uh, and today I'm going to show you where to get it and how to get it. So basically what you need to do, you need to go to the old Dalaran. So you can go to Couldn't Lie Summit. So go to the new Dalaran if you don't know how to get there. Go to the new Dalaran and in your base, whether it be Horde or Alliance, you'll have all the portals and you'll have Summer's Rest for Horde. And the uh, Couldn't Lie Summit mop um, panda one for Alliance. I'm not sure it's summer. It's called something summer at something else. And um, you go through there, uh, go to your portals, and you'll have the old Dalaran portal there. If you don't know how to get to it, it's quite easy to do. Um, and yes, so you go to you fly then to Dragon Spite or Dragon Blight. You fly for Horde. You go to Venom Spite. And for Alliance, you go to Winterguard Keep, and just here, to the right of those bases, is Naxxaramas. So it's up in the air, so you need to fly up, if you're not being notable, you fly up, and underneath, you go through it. And when you've done that, you come to... Now, you have different quarters in, the, uh, in this beautiful um, raid. You want to go to the military quarter, okay? You want to go to the military quarter... And what we need to kill here is the four horsemen. I'm literally standing outside, so I'm going to do it with you just to show you. You start in here. You have to go and kill Instructor Razavarius. And then you have to kill Gothic the Harster. This is a bit of a ball lake. Takes a bit of time, but it's what it is. Anyway, you get to here, so obviously I've gone through that. So you don't have to go through the same torture I did. Make sure you've got raid difficulty on normal and 25 man. It will not drop in 10 man. So make sure, there's no heroic version of Max anyways, just make sure you've got um, it on 25 man player and on normal. Uh, yes, so we are here at the Four Horsemen, as I said. Now, this sword has 16% chance of dropping on these these bosses here. It's very easy to do on a 110, so yeah, you just run in. Um, now be very careful not to bug this out because it's quite easy to do. Don't just run in and kill them all. What you need to do is pull one of the guys. So easiest thing to do is just walk in. Let them do their thing. Let them all split up. Let them run. So they all run to a different corner. Kill Zeliek first. There we go. Just take your time. No rush. These two will then automatically come over, which will leave you La Lady Blaumel to, to kill. So run over to her. Boom. One shot. So obviously make sure that the four horsemen pop there just to say that they're done. Now what you then need to do is run to the middle. And here will be a nice big pot of juicy loot. So... Let's open it up and see what we do. What have we got? We got a hound. We didn't get it. Okay, so 16% chance gods weren't on our side today. But obviously I've already got it on uh, on my characters. Uh, as you can see with Necrotis, I've got it here. Beautiful, lovely sword. It's massive. It's a really big sword. It's probably the biggest sword in the game. If you've got uh, Male Tor and you've got two of those, Fury Warrior, just like two buildings on your back. I did, before I entered this, uh, pick this up as well, which is, I've not got before. I've literally just picked this up, which is called the Silent Crusader. I got that off um, the trash. So, on your way in, it's worth killing. Uh, this, uh, it looks okay. It looks pretty good for a frosty cow, I think. It's one-handed sword, right? Yeah, so that uh, nice enchant on that. Razor ice or something. And, um, which you get for Lich King, if you don't know. Yeah, so that's nice. Nice little bit of kit there. But obviously this is all about Armageddon. So, yeah, as I say, it's a really good little sword. Uh, if you want to get this, 
go in there and get it. But there is also another thing you can do. If you don't get it on that right, that go, you can go to the construct quarter, um, and you can run in. You run in through here, through here, and you go and kill Gluth. Now Gluth is like a big dog, big patchwork dog, and he has a one percent chance of dropping the sword also. So. If you don't get lucky with a 16%, you can run in and kill him and maybe it'll drop off him. Obviously, 1%, the odds aren't great, but it might happen for you. You might be lucky. So there we go. There's number two of how do I get that. I hope it's been helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, um, please leave a nice big thumbs up down below. It just helps the channel grow organically. Um, it helps me... Uh, produce better content because like obviously the more people watching this the better it is for me and the more I feel people are enjoying the content which is obviously what the main point of it all is so yeah so um, also let me know down below in the comments if you've already got this, this sword and you wear this sword or uh, if you got it first time second time ten time or you're still trying to get it let me know down below I'd love to hear your stories on Armageddon the sword um, and it just leaves me to say I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not subscribed already to receive all future comment from me. Um, if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Do appreciate it. And uh, just leaves me to say you have a cracking day and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.